Here we are at short video number 7 in our series about the new features in Denim 1.7. Vega and Vega Lite use the D3 syntax for formatting numbers and dates, which is common for many other tools. In Power BI, we have a different syntax, which is based on the Visual Basic for application system, and is also used by Excel. Fortunately, the Vega languages support the use of custom format types, and we've always had a type named PBI format in Denim, which allows you to use Power BI formatting strings to format your values. Here we have a simple visual with some values that we can use to illustrate the formatter a bit more easily. The middle column shows our raw value. We'll illustrate the Power BI formatter on the right hand side. In Vega Lite, we have two ways to use the formatter. We can either use a text encoding for a field and specify the PBI format, format type and a suitable format string, or we can do this directly using an expression in the mark properties and calling the PBI format function, which has the same result as what we just did in the encoding channel. In version 1.5, we extended the custom formatter for usage and expressions to allow an optional configuration object, which lets you supply the other parameters that Microsoft formatting APIs make available. This is really useful if you want to extend the options, change the unit precision or culture of a formatted date, for instance. As a quick example, for those who haven't seen it, we're using the value parameter here to set the value to thousands, and this will have the same effect as when you specify the unit type in other visuals. This value could be millions, billions, or trillions. The number will update accordingly. You can also feed in the current number as this value and Power BI will auto format the unit. This is all existing functionality and hopefully this provides a good recap of what we have so far. So what's new? Firstly, we've improved the signature of the PBI format function so that you can supply an object with your parameters instead of both additional parameters. We could rewrite our current example by omitting the format string and just leaving the value or maybe we just want to specify a precision of three digits without a format string. And this all works as we might hope. But because automatic unit formatting is a common use case, we've added a new format type and a corresponding function called PBI format auto unit. This is a convenience function so we don't have to feed the value twice and then we can simplify our expressions. If we need additional options such as precision, we can supply our formatting options object to this as well. Because formatting in Vega is all done within expressions, what we've just seen will work there too. But the work we've done here adds more flexibility to the encoding channel option for Vega Lite for those who wish to use that instead for simpler cases. While it's not as flexible as the expression approaches, it can extend what you can do here. If using PBI format as our format type, we can now supply an object signature matching the formatting options object rather than the formatting string we could use previously. This gives us a bit more configurability than we had before. For example, we'll provide a format string inside the object and a specific culture, and we can see our number format updates accordingly. PBI format auto unit is also available here. In fact, if we just want simple auto unit formatting, we just need to specify that as the type without any other formatting options, and it just works. We can always add the format object if we do want to specify some more options though. While we've seen that we now have auto completion for the Vega languages as a new feature in one of our other short videos, these things we're introducing here are Denev and Power BI specific. We've been keen to get them into the release so that you can start using them, and we'll be working to incorporate better support for auto-completion in the encoding channel in an upcoming release. And of course, if you have enhancement requests that will enable you to do more, please let us know in our GitHub repository. Well, this video has been a little longer than our others, but hopefully it's been enlightening for you. We also hope that you're looking forward to being able to do more with number formatting when Denev 1.7 is available in your reports. We have some more changes to show you, so we'll be back soon. But if you want to read more about what we have left or recap what we've already shown you, the change log is available on Denim's website for you to read through at your convenience.